everyone welcome back to Fidit Technologies so in today's video this is going to be a very short video where I'm going to show you how to run an example input file from Abacus documentations because I think it is very important especially for students who start to learn how to use Abacus especially for their final project undergraduate thesis so they need to be able to validate their modeling strategy, right? They need to be to be able to justify whether the modeling that they perform are correct or not. One way is to download an input file, an example input file from the Abacus documentation and then try to redo it, okay? So today I'm going to show you how to download an input file, how to save it and how to run it, right? So let's try this one. So you can search Abacus documentation, for example, uh, Abacus uh, documentation, uh, vehicle suspension, for example. And then you try to open, I think this one, it's automobile suspensions, yeah, usually, they give you explanations about the things that uh, are going to model in these examples and they give you several input files. In some cases, you need to download all the files because all these files may be interconnected to one another. But in this case, it is not. Yeah. So just try to download one of them. For example, imagine I want to download this one you can click if you want and then it opens the input file here but of course you want to save it save as and then you just go to all files and remove the extension txt and save all right so if you see in the desktop you should have the file that you just download with the correct input file so how to run this so people not people i mean students uh, will will be will be interested to open it uh, by using abacus import utilities uh, let me open my abacus first wait a minute So, well, sorry. So what they did usually is to import here, but usually if you import the input file, especially from the input file uh, from the previous version of Abacus, usually the import will not be successful. There, 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 there could be a problems when you're importing input files generated from the previous uh previous abacus version so what you should do is just run it directly you go to the job and then you create a new job name but the source should be input file and then choose the input files you want and then go to the desktop this one is your input file that you want to run click continue this is standard settings uh how many processor you want to use what kind of precision at this point we don't need this just click OK and then click the job manager and then click submit and you can see it's yeah it's running right now so it's a good thing yeah if problem happens usually it will be aborted usually it happens if you down you you don't download the whole input files in the case where the input files may be interconnected to uh, one another okay let's complete it and click results yeah and this is the uh, the uh, automotive suspensions created by connector elements right so let me just animate this yeah so yeah yeah 
so this is the maybe this is the tire this is connected to the frame yeah this is the the suspension i guess yeah and that's it yeah that's how you run an input file from abacus documentation now the the challenge is how you will recreate this using the abacus cae on your own yeah so what you need to do is to 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 develop this very same model using abacus cae you go to the part and then you create your own beam element spring element suspension the connector and then to do the same simulation to give the same uh, result exactly the same results right that's the point once you are able to do that your supervisor your professor will believe in your modeling skills yeah so i think that's the video for today uh, that's all i want to say to you is you should be able to run the input file and then recreate it on your own okay see you next time bye